need to persuade for this people's vote, would you please welcome the leader of the Liberal Democrats, Mr. Vince Cable. Thank you for this magnificent crowd. We've got people in this audience from Scotland, who've come specially from Wales, Manchester, Derby, West Midlands, Norfolk. We are not citizens of nowhere. We are citizens from every part of this country. This is a national movement demanding a people's vote. Yesterday, I was in Wales, and they're getting their Brexit dividend early. They're one of their leading employers. Their boss is signing a goodbye note to the UK. They have seen the potential disruption of their business, and their suppliers, who employ 100,000 people, are now seriously at risk. Okay. Many, Rolls Royce, they're in the same boat. Many of our industries are in the balance. And my message to them, and my message to you, is that Brexit is not a done deal. Brexit is not inevitable. Brexit can be reversed. In the meantime, we fiddle at the other side of the road. We have meaningless debates on what is the meaning of meaningful. <laughs> we try to decide between a customs union and the customs union. Missing the central point. The central point is that the vote that took place two years ago is not forever. When that vote took place, there were many things we didn't know. We didn't know that there would be a divorce bill of £40 billion. We didn't know that President Trump was going to get elected <laughs> and destroy the free trade system, which is necessary for Brexit to be a success. We didn't know about the problems of the Irish frontier. We were promised shed loads of money for the NHS, and we know that money is no longer there. We didn't know that the result was going to be contaminated by Russia. To resolve this issue, the public must have a final vote on the deal. Meantime, is he sitting down there before? No, damage has been done, and it's been done to the prospects of the younger generation who have been shafted by the older Brexiteers. And it's our job to fight for them. I'm here on behalf of my party, but I want to work with people across the board in other parties who are here today to make this a truly national effort. But it isn't the politicians who will resolve this issue, it's you. If the energy, the commitment, the principles that we're seeing here today are kept going, we will stop Brexit. So my message today is a very simple one. Keep fighting, keep hoping, we will win. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to crack it on through. We have a very 